Okay, so this lesson is going to be about angle measure and specifically working with degree measure. So we need to understand that one complete revolution contains 360 equal parts. Each of these parts is called a degree. In addition, each degree is then divided into 60 equal parts, each part called a minute, and then each minute is divided into 60 equal parts called a second. So the definition of a degree is that it is one three hundred and sixtieth of a complete revolution. So equal angles will have equal measures. So since a degree is one over three hundred and sixty, the measure of an angle is considered to be a number. And when angles are equal, those numbers are equal. So in this case, we could say that the measure of angle B equals 28 degrees and the measure of angle E equals 28 degrees. Since these angles are equal we could say the measure of B is equal to the measure of angle E or we could say that angle B is congruent to angle E. Notice the difference when we have um, the equal sign, we're talking about measure, and when we have the congruent sign, we're talking about how angles are congruent to one another. All right, so in order to add angles together, we need to add up the common parts. So first we have 32 degrees, 16 minutes, and 23 seconds. So our degrees, our minutes, and our seconds. And some of you may consider the degree to be like an hour. And we're adding to that an angle whose measure is 46 degrees, 32 minutes, and 19 seconds. So the first thing we want to do is add seconds with seconds. So 23 plus 19 is 42 seconds. Our minutes, 16 plus 32 is 48 minutes. And then lastly, we have 32 degrees and 46 minutes is 78 degrees. So our angle is 78 degrees, 48 minutes, and 42 seconds. Notice that neither the minutes nor seconds have gone above 60 parts, so we do not need to do any other conversions. When we get to the next problem, we add our seconds together to get... 75 seconds, our minutes become 70, and our degrees become 61. Now in this case, we need to do a little bit of conversions. We have too many seconds. So 75 seconds, we could subtract 60 of those away and change it into one minute. So we still have 61 degrees. We now have 71 minutes, sorry, 71 minutes, and now we only have 15 seconds. But again, we could convert our minutes, instead of saying 71 minutes, we could call that 1 degree and 11 minutes. So we take away our 60 minutes, converting them into 1 degree giving us a total of 62 degrees, 11 minutes, and 15 seconds. This would then be our final simplified answer. Remember, at any time during these videos, feel free to pause and rewind any concepts so that you may able to, you're able to take notes at your own pace. Okay, working with subtraction of angles. We're looking at the same concept. We keep seconds with seconds, minutes with minutes, degrees with degrees. So let's subtract 24 from 38 to get 14. We subtract 34 from 45 to get 11. And we subtract 40, I'm sorry, 32 from 45 to get 13. So we have 13 degrees, 11 minutes, and 14 seconds. Noticing that the angle on top, each unit 
was greater than the unit underneath it. 45 is bigger than 32, 45 is bigger than 34, and 38 is bigger than 24. So we never would have ended up with anything that's negative. As we look at the next problem, that's not the case when we look at the minutes and the seconds. Our seconds of 28 are smaller than our seconds of 42. So we need to borrow and we need to convert the other way. So we're going to take away a minute, so that becomes 15, and we're going to add 60 seconds to that, so that we get 88 seconds. And now I can subtract 80, uh, 42 from 88, giving me 46 seconds. So we run into a similar problem, again, with our minutes. And you could have converted both of these at the same time or done one at a time. I'm going to take away one degree, converting it back to 60 minutes so that I get 75 minutes. So now I have 47 minutes, which I need to subtract from 75 minutes. I get 28 minutes. And now I take 29 degrees, subtracting from 58 degrees, giving me another 29 degrees. I notice and I check that my seconds are smaller than 60, my minutes are smaller than 60, and my degrees it can be as large as we want. Okay, we need to work with two other operations. Those operations would be multiplication and division. So looking at multiplication, it's the same as distributing. All I'm going to do is distribute my two to my degrees, to my minutes, and my seconds. I'm simply doubling the size of my angle. That gives me 70 degrees, 32 minutes, and 24 seconds. Okay, next I'm tripling the size of my angle. So I need to triple my 36 degrees, giving me 108 degrees. Tripling my minutes gives me 135 minutes. And tripling my seconds gives me 126 seconds. When I look at this, this is similar to what we were doing with addition when we needed to simplify. This time, instead of taking away 60 seconds, I can take away 120 seconds. That would give me two minutes to add on. My degrees are the same. I have 135 minutes, and now I only have six seconds. Sorry, 137 minutes. I will now take away 120 minutes to convert those into 20, I'm sorry, into two degrees. So I have 110 degrees, 17 minutes, and six seconds. All right, we need to work with our last operation, and that operation is division. Okay, working with division, it's always nice to make sure your degrees and minutes and seconds are a multiple of whatever we are dividing it by. So in this case, we are dividing by 2, and I notice my degrees and my minutes and my seconds, sometimes abbreviated as DMS, are all multiples of two. They're all even numbers. So I know when I divide, it's going to work out nicely. So again, it's similar to distributing. I'm going to divide 48 by 2, divide 56 by 2, divide 36 by 2, and there's my final answer. Looking at the next problem, I notice that my degrees and my minutes are odd numbers, therefore not evenly divisible by 2. So I would like to convert those first. I am going to take away a degree, converting that back into minutes. So I add my 60 minutes. And my minutes are still not even, so I'm going to take away a minute and convert those back into seconds. So I now have 
58 degrees, 86 minutes, and 62 seconds, which is completely equivalent to the 59 degrees, 27 minutes, and 42 seconds. All right, I'm going to take my 58 and cut it in half to get 29 degrees. I'm going to take my 86 and cut it in half to get 43 minutes. And then I will take my 62 seconds, cut them in half to get 31 seconds. Okay, there um, will be a worksheet for you to complete with the operations with degrees and minutes and seconds. Um, and this is something that we will be learning how to use our calculators to do. Um, in your calculator, there is an apps button. And that right above that apps button, it says angle. So if you hit second apps, you will be brought to a screen that says one is degrees, two is minutes. Your seconds key is hidden down by your plus sign. So if you hit alpha and the plus tab, that will give you your second symbol. If you'll also notice when you hit your second apps key, number four says DMS. So if you were to put a problem in your calculator, your calculator will give the answer back to you as a decimal. You need to then go back in and hit number four and ask your calculator to convert things back into degrees, minutes, and seconds. Um, and one example that would work out very well would be the, the last problem that we did. So if you were to type into your calculator, parentheses, and that was 59, and then the degree symbol, again, going back into apps, 27 degrees, again, going back into apps, and 42 seconds, this time, hitting the alpha, which is the green key, and the plus symbol will give you your seconds. Close your parentheses, hit the division symbol, and the number two. When you hit enter, you'll get a, calcu uh, you'll get a decimal, so then convert that using your DMS button, which is again found in your second apps. Um, that I can go over a little bit more with you on Monday in this whole process I can, but hopefully this was enough to, to get you through the worksheet.